17th of March, that's St Patrick's Day, my son's holding a phone and we thought we might do a wee video for you, yes I am wearing a tie, I'll pull it out once a year, it looks like a keyboard. So my son's holding the phone and he is playing drums today, just turn around and say, you're looking at the lens so they can see your son, I don't know how you're going to do that exactly without your hand, can't really see yourself, okay he's filming himself, now that's him, alright pop it back, we're doing a, a live feed on this, not a live feed but a live video, we're not going to feed it out live because we've got no cell phone range here, that'll be interesting to do, but what we are going to do is take little snippets of what St Patrick's Day is going to be like for us, he has never played a show in his life, he's not even a drummer, he, he played a bit of drums when he was young, going mucking around but just went boom cha boom cha, doesn't know any fills, knows no drum rudiments at all, and tonight he's going to be see playing hard rock, we haven't done any hard rock so that'll be interesting. It's going to be doing 6-8 timing, 3-4 timing, it's going to be 2-4 two, yeah, two, timing, so it's sort of He'll be doing a little bit of, even some type of rap, sort of calm, I say hip hop, you know, on the drums, but he doesn't know any of that, so it's going to be interesting. Of course, most of the night's going to be Irish music, whiskey in the jar, dirty old town, gypsy rover, or tell me ma, all those songs. I'm doing this gig because I want to have some fun with my son, that's why I'm doing it, and he said it'll be fun, so we're just going to do it, and we're not going to worry about it being perfect, we're just going to drink whiskey and sing songs and have fun, and there'll be a shitload of people here, there always is at the Biddy Kate's Irish Pub in, in Blenheim, it's always a busy, busy night, and it's always a lot of fun, so that's why we're doing it. This guy here overtaking you, got traffic coming up in front, what a fucking idiot, he's really threatening everybody. Just stopped here with the lights up ahead or a guy with a lollipop saying stop and look at the bees around us, bees for miles. And what's really funny is the, the guy that overtook us, he was up here in front of the truck and he was stopped for ages too. We're at the pub son, excited? Yes. Criterion pub's just down there and you can see there's a whole lot of people outside there right now and it's only four o'clock. Spreading a roadie. I got it. You know where to go son, there's only one place with a whole lot of people. Understandably my son's pretty nervous because he's never played a gig ever in his life. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Just grab the guitar son. Huh? Grab the guitar at the back. Yeah. This is it. There you go. Okay mate, there you go. The Terry Sloan! <laughs> Good to see you, mate. The man they couldn't root shoot or electrocute, but they burnt him a few times trying. <laughs> this is Yona? 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 Terry? This is, this, this is your boss, son. <laughs> He's an exceptional drummer, aren't you, son? Yeah. No pressure, but fuck, there's going to be a lot of people here today, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's never played a gig in his life, mate. <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. You just see the wagons that normally play here. <laughs> so it's the America's Cup. It's down to the last race. New Zealand need one more race to win. That's why there's a lot of buzz also going to the pub. Which is kind of a good thing because we're running late and it means that everybody's watching the cup and they're not interested in music and I wouldn't be interested in either. So it gives us a wee break to set the gear up because we are running late. We should really be set up by now. You see what I mean, son? It's going to be a busy night. Go Kiwi! I hope we can hold on to that. Oh, that's really good. 
Because if we lost that, well, we weren't going to lose it. Well, we could have lost it, but if we had lost it, it makes our job a lot harder. People are now drinking, celebrating. And it doesn't matter what you do now, son. Everybody's going to get so tacked up. We can play anything and they'll love it. <laughs> So Yona bought health food for our gig and I ate some and this is off the tree at home and this is our hotel. I have rocked up these stairs many times intoxicated, many years. 47. We travel not to escape life but for life not to escape us. Anonymous. Is that a room there son? We got a bunk there. Oh it's a bunk. <laughs> oh well I'm probably going to. Sleep over here. <laughs> you're laughing because you think you're going to bring a woman back here, don't you? No. No. I'm pleased about that because I like to sleep. Views are stunning. A lot of my life in Europe was living in rooms like this. This would actually be a flash one. A lot of the musicians' rooms I used to live in used to be really rough. This one has a toilet, which is a, a bonus. A lot of them didn't have. This is a backpacker, so it's not really a hotel. And it's got a share. So it's actually really, really quite good. It's an old building, but yeah, a lot of the rooms I stayed in when I was a musician in the Irish pub circuit working in Europe, mostly in Germany, they had not even windows. They were just like rooms that they'd made to accompany the musicians they built on illegally on the rooms quite often, with no windows and just a door, and they were shit. This is, this is not bad. Yeah, it hasn't been a very glamorous life being a musician, so you don't really want to be a musician, son, because that's the sort of food you have on the road. That's pretty good. I've never actually seen you eat shit food. And it's pretty much travel, live in places that are shitty, and get fuck all sleep, and deal with lots and lots of drunken people. A life I did for many years, which I must say I thoroughly enjoyed. I'm heading down, son. I came out to my car because it's my mobile office to do something. Normally he doesn't want to hang with me when I'm doing stuff in my office, but I think he's a bit nervous before the gig, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know where to put himself. Can you share with us exactly how you're feeling? I'm a little bit tired. You're a little bit tired? <laughs> yes. Why are you tired? Oh, I know why you're tired, because you didn't sleep last <laughs> night because you were nervous about the gig. So he, he wore all his energy out worrying about it, now he's got to have all the energy and he's tired. Well, you're going to need a whole lot of energy. I suggest you drink some coffee, son. I was thinking about having a Jager bomb. A Jager bomb would be probably not a bad idea. Get into it. It's an exciting moment. It's a father-son moment, son. Exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited to play music after not playing for a year. We've done no rehearsal at all. Hey, this is Ben, guys. It's St. Patrick's Day. We did have a nice jump in the truck. He's got a story to tell us. Jump in the truck, man. I'll unlock it. So, was it a year ago you got shot? Yeah, a year and three months, yeah. You're yeah. doing well, man, for someone. So where did the bullet hit you, exactly? It hit, yeah, pretty much top of the femur, like, pretty the femur. much real, real close to my uh, pelvis, really. Did it get so, your femur artery? Yeah, oh, yeah, got that, and my sciatic nerve as well. That's, I know all about chronic yeah. sciatic pain, but I bet you you're in worse than me, man. I, I take drugs for the sciatic pain. Do you sleep all right at night? Yeah, it's not too bad. Pretty much got it under, under yeah, pretty much control. Under control Are you half yeah. pissed now? Because I am. Yeah. And I'm enjoying it too. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's good to meet you, Ben. It's also yeah. good to meet someone who's got, he's had such a bloody brilliant attitude. You've got an eight-month-old daughter? Boy. A boy? Yeah, even better, yeah. Okay. yeah what do you mean even better? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that, mate. Girls yeah. are good. Well, actually, if you wanted to go for it, it's funny how us men want to have sons, and sometimes, there's an old saying in Germany, uh, drunk men and small children tell no lies, and that's your truth. You want to have a son, you got a son. I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. Right, yeah, first, so, you know. Would you like to have a daughter too one day or not? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I've got a niece, so it's like, yeah, it makes me even... Right. 
So yeah, you, I'm going to ask you, mate, you got shot down there where your old photos. Can you still make a child or not? Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, Happy days. Yeah, it was fucking close, but yeah, it was all swollen, Ooh. but yeah, yeah. Fucking that close. She's all go, yeah. Because the old fella could have got shot off. Oh, yeah. So was, what was the calibre? Seven mil round mag, yeah. So. And how far away were you from it? Point blank or? 600 mil. 600 mil away from you? Yeah. Oh, so you with a mate, he had a, he was carrying a load of firearm. Yeah, yeah, it was close quarters between what we were hunting, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just. He's only 600, did you say 600 mil away from you? Yeah, 600 mil. He slipped his gun in his gun bag and I was sitting on the other what? side of the ute. Yeah. yeah. So, it was so, a mistake? Yeah. Oh, could, yeah. Could have cost yeah. you your life, eh? Oh, yeah, it was fucking close, yeah. Yeah, jeez, he yeah. must have felt terrible. He must oh, have, yeah. It must have yeah. been hard on him, yeah, too. Yeah, it was, yeah. Are you still mates? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good to hear that, because he probably needs as much support as you, actually. Yeah. Be yeah. hard on him. Yeah. You still so, out hunting? Yeah, yeah, been out a few times. It's, yeah, been way bit hard, uphill. Uphill, you can, can yeah. you, you're walking very slowly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, like, like round, flat sort of stuff, it's been... What's the thing on your knee, bro, what's that? It's just a knee brace, pretty much, because I walk in kind of hyperextension, because I've lost all my... Uh, Nerve. Well, yeah, and all my, like, muscle, that lets me do a single right. leg squat. Okay, so, um, yep. Apart from that... I was definitely, you know, drugged up from the start, but yep. yeah, like I've definitely, obviously, since having an eight-month-old son, it's kept me going to yep. want to push further. Good on you, mate. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want well. to get hunting again. So bloody good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, thanks for sharing, yeah, and I'm really, no I'm really yeah. uh, feeling. Wow, sitting by someone who's, who's, who's been through that, it's like, that's pretty heavy, yeah. and you've survived it. I'm stoked, oh, yeah. stoked that you've survived it, and, and you, you're so positive you're going to be a cool dad, and you'll get back up again. Oh, yeah, 100%, yeah. Mm. All right, bro. Sweet. Go steady. Thank you. We'll go back inside and have a few more drinks. <laughs> Good morning everybody, this is what I sound like the next day after doing hours of playing. That's my, no that's not my son. I just woke up and and she was there. I don't quite know how it happened. <laughs> this is the life of a musician, my son's first gig and he wakes up with a beautiful woman beside him. This is what happens, it's just part of being a rock star isn't it son? Uh, can I ask, uh, Taylor is it? Yeah. <laughs> can I ask you what you think of his drumming? Be honest, oh, be honest, mate. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was actually really, really good. The timing was superb. Well, you weren't dancing. What was the story? You were just in the audience just looking at him. <laughs> How come you weren't dancing? Everybody else was dancing. Was it because there was a lot of bogans in the pub and they were, like, banging off each other and there was men trying to hit on you? Was that it? <laughs> yeah. Because I noticed heaps of men. I noticed one guy went up to you with a red light on his head. <laughs> He had a red light. He had a light on his head, and he was talking to it. Yeah, and he was in the pub with this red light. But it was, a, it was a red light. This goes in the back. He's got the front. Did you notice that guy? Yeah. Did that spin you out? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, good to have you join us on the show. So this morning, uh, I got up to this and feeling pretty rough. It was actually a really good night. It was awesome, fun. Thanks to all my patrons that came along, to say good day, and. I wasn't going to do it this year. I only did the gig because I wanted to do it with my son. Part of my son now being a, a rock star is he has to deal with uh, the groupies that were in front of him last night. They were all... <laughs> he was completely oblivious. He had like about four women... Oh, I, I'm going to have a voice. He had about four women in front of him last night all dancing and trying to be sexy and one girl got a got a boobs out. Like they're flopping around, and did you see that? Yeah. And my son's like playing the drums, completely oblivious to this woman, these things flapping around. Did, 
constant. She'd do it more than once. More than <laughs> once. She was, she, was, she was trying, wasn't working. He was completely oblivious. Yeah. Then, what's it, son? I said unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I can't believe you didn't see that. And then she was coming up. She was, did you see it twerking? Yeah, oh, no. my God. You saw, you saw twerking. Yeah. It's hideous. <laughs> it's horrible. The joys of being a rock star. I can't believe you got right through that gig, considering you don't uh, know anything about drums. A drummer came up at the end of the night and said to him, yeah, it was actually really good that he kept the timing perfectly, and that's the most important thing you have to do. I don't know if you can tell my hand is swollen on this one here. See that palm there? That's from gripping the, the, the guitar neck. What was the highlight of the night for you, Taylor? Honest, mate, what was the highlight? What was the best part of it? Probably the music, especially the old bangers. <laughs> the old bangers. <laughs> she likes the old school music. I do. Yeah, cool. And did you get hit on by many men? Oh, tons. <laughs> yeah. And what did you say to them? Uh, fuck off. <laughs> I saw that. I saw there was a there was a guy with a light on his head, but there was also another guy that kept on coming up to you all the time. I don't know, he had sort of like a a plaid shirt on and he was coming up. Do you know which one that was? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that I told to fuck off. You said fuck off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Get out of my personal space? Yeah, I kinda of like pushed away a bit to yeah. be honest. So did you see any of that going on? So a little bit. A little bit. But you couldn't do anything because you couldn't go out and protect her because you were behind the drum kit stuck there, eh? <laughs> it must have been a good night. So I, I forgot this happened. I was on stage and this woman started undressing me. But then I thought, oh, this is going to be cool. But then she dressed me. She put her, her top on me. I didn't see that coming. So then I was wearing her little top. And I was wearing her top. And I said, listen, I, I really, um, I don't feel comfortable being in your top. I don't mind getting into your pants, but I don't want to be in your top. <laughs> this is something that we need to learn how to do. We need to know how to make our coffees like that, so how do they do it? Can you make coffee like that? No. Rate it, son. This is coffee at Biddy Kate's Irish Pub in Blenheim. It's good. It's good? Yeah. That'll do. I've got a nice plate with cream. If you're in Blenheim and you want to feed, you come down here in the morning, they're open. At what time? Is it 10 o'clock when you breakfast? Is? I don't know many people who come down here any earlier. Drinking it for sure. Most people that were here last night will still be in bed, I imagine. We're rare breeze, which place is empty. There's a whole lot of people living upstairs. So backpackers upstairs here. So there's a lot of people up there. Cream. Are you saying the eggs look disgusting? Yeah. You are so mistaken, my dear. <laughs> good on you, mate. Oh, you've got. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks good. The joys of going outside of the keto diet. It's the first time I've had toast in like two years. I'm going to enjoy this. We've got bangers, eggs. I don't know what that's, but it looks good. Tomatoes. We've got mushrooms. You don't know what you're missing out on, Taylor. Honestly, mate. <laughs> you don't know. Do you not even eat these things here? Oh, yeah, I do. That's, that's good, eh, son? <laughs> Just trying to get Terry's skinny side here. Have we got her in, mate? I have got some hair on top. Well, you got a shitload more than I've got, bro. Yeah. This is Terry. Terry owns the Criterion. What's well, actually called the Biddy Cates Irish pub, or is it called the Criterion? I don't even know. It's, it's Biddy Cates, mate. Biddy Cates. Yeah. yeah, it used to be the Criterion Hotel, but it's Biddy Cates Cafe Bar and Backpackers Bar. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, there, yeah, if you're a backpacker, and you need a place to stay, the rates are reasonable and the tucker is to die for. The company's not too bad either. It's all right. <laughs> Good on you, mate. I've been coming playing here in, a, I think, 16, 17 years for material about that, and this is what we do is we have a good old breakfast. And it's so good to be out of keto to enjoy this because I haven't had a breakfast in about two years, so we're going to tear into it. Good mushrooms. Good though. mushrooms. Yeah, not the mushrooms from our pillow, though. Yeah, yeah no, not, not the mushrooms that my son eats. They're slightly different, aren't they, son? Are these like your mushrooms? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Anyway, bro, hey, thanks for the breakfast. Thanks for being here. He's on an adventure. Hard to be young, eh? Imagine that. So, Yona's now going on a road trip with Taylor for a week. And I've come back to my truck. $200 fine for not displaying my warrant of fitness. Oh well, it's only fucking money. I couldn't get the warrant of fitness because my my 
window's broken. It's cracked. And the reason it's cracked is I was in a 30k zone because there was shingle on the road and some clown pulled out in front of me and sprayed my window with stones. And that's why I've got that there. So this is the new car. It's a boy racer car. Are you a girl racer? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the sound of it. Do you want to see me stall it? Well, yeah, let's see a stall it. You off, are you, son? You off on your adventure? Uh, we're going to drop the okay. Good luck, son. Jeez. Yeah, fun, son. See you later. It was a full on gig last night. So, Yana's off on his own adventure with his new lady friend and it's been an awesome trip. I'm so glad I made this happen with my son. Heading back to the dogs, back to normal life again, 24 hours of madness. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be good, can't be good, be careful. Time for me to go. The traffic is just about to start moving here. Whoa!